let me share the screen okay guys is that fine so each role will have its own permissions and again you have to double check what kind of permissions they are asking the approvals what kind of permissions they are including in the ticket okay you have to be very uh, careful giving while giving the permissions to the users guys otherwise okay they are going to okay play with you again at the end of the day if something went wrong it's a dba responsibility that you have to double check it okay so before giving the permissions make sure you have the proper approvals that the developers mentioned in the ticket whatever permissions whatever databases sometimes they will include one database in the ticket but uh, they will include multiple databases in the ticket but they will ask only one database approval from the manager permissions also different database objects also different very crucial right very 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 critical things okay so again and again again if you don't feel the ticket or the approval is not satisfactory please ask them to again get a proper approvals and all no issues again you should be in a safe position guys you cannot take risk okay so these are very common developers will mention something and they will ask something so make sure what they whatever they are asking they have proper approvals for those requests or not right so now if if ankam in our case if ankam is a bulk admin ankam can be a bulk admin ankam can do bulk inserts okay ankam can do bulk inserts and ankam can add ragu as a bulk admin ankam can add anand as a bulk admin he can add other persons to that this particular role once ragu becomes a member of this role ragu can add one more person right every person will have their own best friends right right agree ankam if i added ankam ankam can add another person to this role so that that person x y z whatever person okay if x is a part of that role again x will get extra permissions again of course anand or or ragu will get these permissions right if ankam added ragu to this role ragu will get these two permissions again so ragu can add one more person to that role or multiple uh, logins to that particular role okay so this is how a role will work guys is it clear any issues any doubt simply role means collection of permissions each role will have different different permissions if i added you to any role you will get those permissions automatically is it clear guys please same same meaning for the server role same meaning for database role also yes sir what is bulk insert sir bulk insert means i told you right bulk insert means uh, you are going to insert okay uh bulk uh, transactions like uh, millions of transactions if you are trying to insert that is bulk insert or else if you are trying to load the data from any notepad to the sql server from any excel sheet to the sql server that also you can call it as a bulk insert uh, you will explain with demo sir no 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 there is no demo for that we don't do it actually they will ask permissions will add the person into the particular role that's it as a demo we we not we need not to do that. we don't need we don't do bulk inserts as a dba okay we don't do any bulk bulk inserts as a dba we are responsible to give these permissions to the particular persons that's it if i want to give uh, say for example one developer asked hey i have to do the bulk inserts operation operations can you please give me the, that permission then what i can do i can add that person to this particular role someone asked us say for example we have different different uh, uh, persons right logins okay uh, let's go with uh, divya okay same again we have divya login here right so yesterday we have created different madhavi have you deleted any logins no sir i created in vm okay okay we i, yeah, I don't want to disturb this uh, okay okay thank you yeah. yeah so uh, mother the image in divya is a developer okay so now divya asked hey can you please give me bulk insert operation i can happily give double click on divya go to the server roles okay just click bulk admin click okay that's it now divya becomes bulk admin this is what we are going to do that's it we are not going to do any bulk inserts is it clear yes sir okay so we are responsible to give the permissions that's it 
okay guys so bulk admin is having two permissions one is uh, no need to remember this guys this is this role is having only two permissions other roles will have multiple permissions 10 20 permissions also so do i need to remember all the permissions actually no the answer is no no one will ask you might be they will ask you at least if you can remember important permissions bulk admin the important permission is bulk insert right what's there okay to remember very simple bulk admin means you can do bulk insert operation at least for one role if you remember one or two permissions that's that will be great okay they don't ask all the permissions guys chalo let's go with the second role next role is db creator okay so let me delete this role now let me drag and drop this db creator role so can anyone guess what permissions db creator will create have? Terms, i mean uh, create uh, tables okay guess create. it guys what and all things we can create Sir, add member to DB uh, good. database and DB. Hmm. DB creator. The name itself is saying DB creator. Alter and right, right. Okay, so what permissions uh, this role will have, guys? DB Sir, alter database. Extend Drop. database. Very good. Creator. Very good. So execute it, guys. We'll see. Okay, so how many permissions are there for this role? Eight. Eight, eight permissions. permissions. You can see here eight or else you can see here eight rows means eight permissions. Of course, every every role will have this by default role. Add member to DB creator. If I added Ankam to DB creator role, Ankam can add another person to this role. Okay. Right. Yeah. Apart from these things, main thing is a member of this role can create the database. A member of DB creator. DB means database, right? Creator means he can create, right? So a member of this role, by default, if I added any person to this, if I want all these eight permissions to any person, if I want to give all these eight permissions to any person, I can, instead of giving individual permissions, I can simply add him into this role. If I want to remove all these permissions, instead of removing individual permissions, I'll simply remove that person from this role, guys. It's very simple. Maintenance is very simple. Okay, so add member to DB creator that, that is by default permission. He can alter the database. He can create the database. Of course, who is a creator, he will have destroying powers also, right? He can drop the database. He can extend the database. Restoring the database is also kind of creation only. He can restore the database. He can restore the log file also. In, in the restorations, we have different, different restores. A database backup restore, a log file restore. So this is this this restore means he is able to do the log file restore. Okay, forget about it. I'll we'll discuss in the backups and restores concept. He can rename the database also. If you are a member of this DB creator, by default you will get all these eight permissions, guys. I have a question for all of you. I don't like this permission, lost permission. Can I remove this permission from this role? Can I can we individually take different permissions, sir? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if you want uh, only, sir, I want only. I, why, sir? I, why I'll get all these eight permissions? So I don't like it. I want only create data permission. Happily, you will get it. But we don't add you in any role. We'll individually give you that particular permission to you. That's what I'm saying. If you need all these eight permissions, then only I can add you. If you need a specific permission, why to give, see, you're asking one rupee, why to give eight rupees to you? I'll give one rupee only. If you're asking hundred rupees, I'll give hundred rupees only. Why I have to give 800 rupees to you? Agree? So I can give individual permissions also. That is also there. That is also there. I can give individual permissions also instead of adding. But every time giving individual permissions, removing individual permissions is headache, right? So if you are looking for the same set of permissions, instead of giving individual permissions, I can simply add you to this role, right? It will help you. It will save your time and our time. Agree? So guys, my question is, I don't like this role, uh, this permission. Can I remove this permission from this role? No. Or can no, I add any extra permissions to this role? No, no sir. Very good. Very good. Default. Okay. That's why these roles are server. fixed server roles. Fixed means the permissions are fixed. If you like it, if you don't like it, you, you, you cannot you. add extra permissions. Please mute it. You cannot remove the existing permissions. 
that's why we'll call these roles as a fixed server roles the permissions are fixed okay who is your mommy the your mommy who is that please wait wait one sanjay sanjay right clear guys so if i added you to this db creator role definitely you will get all these permissions i'll show you one demo guys okay so chalo let's try to connect as divya first divya is not member of uh, any role i guess she is a member of uh, bulk admin role chalo let's connect as a divya first listen carefully guys 1 2 3 not 1 2 3 na let me give password 1 2 3 4 right okay now let's see let's try to open one query window from divya control n this is divya's query window right let's try to create one database create database uh db creator test test db creator okay test db creator this is the database name okay you can give your own name no issues let me execute what it is saying guys denied denied no access sir means divya doesn't have permissions to create the database agree let's delete one database what is the query to delete the database can anyone tell me drop drop the drop database drop very simple query drop database yeah. reliance will will, will will delete the reliance database drop database database name can divya execute this query no sir no sir no sir it doesn't have any permissions cannot okay. drop the database reliance because it doesn't exist or you do not have permissions okay right chalo let's add divya to the particular db creator role who can give guys divya cannot assign herself as a db creator if you go to My security name. right if you go to logins okay if you double click on divya login she cannot add herself as a okay db creator role click okay she will get the error cannot alter the server role because it does not exist or you do not have permissions even though you want to alter alter means you are trying to give permissions by your own okay you cannot you cannot make yourself as a sys admin otherwise there is no security every can can every, everybody can become a sys admin by their own right in the same way divya cannot become db creator by her own someone who is having the permission has to give permissions to divya or has to add divya to that particular role chalo this person who is that person madhavi is a dba right so madhavi is having that permission that capability madhavi is a authorized person to give the permissions to divya so go to the security go to the logins double click on divya login and add divya into the db creator role test only one role at a time you can test multiple roles but you will confuse okay if you want to test it just test your db creator role okay uncheck bulk admin role you are testing db creator role right just uncheck the other roles public you cannot uncheck by default role i am trying to uncheck i am unable to uncheck guys if you want you can try it you cannot uncheck that is a by default role every this is an important question guys every login by default they are member of which role guys Public. Public. public server role public server role every login is by default it's a member of public server role we cannot uncheck it okay let's click okay now earlier we got the error right okay while executing we got the error right so let's execute now from the divya's guys don't confuse you will you will be confused a lot here this is divya session again if you open madhavi query window and if you are trying to create new database if you are trying to dot drop existing database you can do that why because madhavi is a sys admin this is madhavi's query window madhavi is a sys admin she can do anything okay but divya this is divya's query window you can see here divya's query window divya doesn't have enough permissions divya having a limited permissions okay so before practicing make sure in which query window you are executing the queries and all okay you can test it but again okay don't confuse while testing sir i found a bug in the sql server this is not executing as expected sir that is executing as expected only you are not practicing as expected okay so don't confuse and don't run the commands in the sysadmin sessions of course sysadmin will have a lot of permissions sysadmin can do anything 
okay try to practice with your own login and all okay right guys now let me create this earlier we got the error right for these two queries now let me execute it now as divya is a okay db creator as per the db creator role she can create the database agree she can drop the database also right let me show you okay if you execute then the database is dropped okay reliance is there right refresh it you will get uh, reliance will be removed test db creator database will be created that is uh, i am sys admin uh, yes right? that's what see both are uh, that's what uh, that's what i'm saying okay both are same only this is your connection madhavi this yes, is sir. divya's connection don't think two instances are there so you can refresh anywhere at the end of the day you two people are accessing the same server right you people are trying to change the same server right so you can refresh your connection also no issues okay okay that uh, that uh, reliance gone and the test db created database you can see guys you can refresh divya's connection also but uh, again you cannot confuse divya and madhavi both are accessing the same server okay whatever changes mm. that madhavi do divya can see whatever changes that divya can do madhavi also can see all persons those who can connect to the sql server can see those changes oh, yes sir it's not like only sir only the reliance database will be dropped from uh, what we can say it will be dropped from um divya's connection only reliance database will be dropped from divya's connection or test db creator database will be created only for divya divya can only see this database no that is wrong don't understand in that way both are doing changes on the same server everyone those who can connect to the sql server can see these changes guys divya is trying to change the whole server level so the server if if any person is having access to the server that person can see the divya's changes is it clear guys don't think only these changes will be applicable to divya don't think like that let me refresh you can still see reliance and you cannot see test db creator let me refresh you can see the changes okay reliance gone and test db creator is created you can see the new database is it clear guys yes sir db creator uh yes please sir be, be, because server roles uh, uh these roles are aff affecting on server level yes correct that's 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 okay. exactly okay perfect uh, statement if you are a member of yes. server role whatever you are going to do that affects your server everyone can see those changes okay sir thanks sir clear guys so like this you can do lot of okay uh, once you know what it will do you can you can test all the permissions also but that's fine okay one or two permissions you can test it that's fine guys let's go to the other role what is the other role next role after db creator we have disk admin this we don't use guys uh, this is i told you right again we don't use all the options in the management studio some options belongs to uh, okay dbs and all so disk admin means a uh, uh, backup devices okay uh backup devices creating a device uh, disk default drop device and all okay this we don't use it guys this disk admin is having five permissions of course if you are a member of disk admin you can add, you can add other member to the disk admin okay uh if you are a, like a disk admin you can initialize the disk disk init init means initialization dump device default and the drop device these are backup devices guys extra storage devices but we will never use this role okay nothing to worry about this role let let me go with this process admin process admin we have two permissions can you guess can anyone guess what permissions process admin is? sir add a member to this uh, process admin and very kill good. the process very good process, yes. by default you can guess it one one permission that is add member to that particular role okay so there are two permissions to this role guys one is add member to process admin kill let me explain what is this process how to see all the processes in sql server what is a session what is spid okay let's discuss guys whatever you want to do first of all you have to connect to the sql server agree 
so if you want to run any query if you want to execute any script first of all you have to open a query window right click new query then only a script or query whatever it might be it will execute but how it knows that you are executing if you open madhavi open a session madhavi will get her own id madhavi okay her name and what is this 57 guys session id sir Session ID, sir. Okay. Session ID. This you can call it as a SP ID. Okay. SP ID. Right. So, everyone, those who are connected to the SQL Server, if they are doing something on my SQL Server, everything will be tracked in the form of SP IDs. Okay. Everything is going to be tracked in the form of SP ID. Madhavi is doing something. I want to track Madhavi. What Madhavi is doing? I can easily track it. Her session ID is SP ID is fifty seven. So hello, what Madhavi is executing? Let's try like this DBCC input buffer. What what queries are executing under this fifty seven? Give the SP ID, and if you can see like this, you can see what ex what I am executing in this fifty seven guys. I am executing again the same query. Okay, let's let's execute this this permission, guys. Create database. Okay, let me put like this. I want to see. I want to show you. Okay, let me create this uh, test DB creator, or else a uh, test process admin. And again, it's not mandatory, sir. Do I need to create a database to test my process admin? No, I just want to show you the demo. Okay, test process admin. Madhavi executed this one. Okay, done. So now Madhavi wants to see what some some other person. I am I am I am the manager. I want to see what Madhavi is trying to execute. Okay, so in which session Madhavi is working? Fifty seven, right? What I am going to do? DBCC input buffer. Fifty seven. What Madhavi executed? What last query she executed? I can see. DBCC input buffer, right? VUFFER, right? Done. Create database, test process admin. So in this way, I can track what's happening in the SQL Server, who is running what kind of queries. Everything, everything, everything can be tracked easily with the help of SP IDs. Okay. Is it clear, guys? So. how can i see all the sessions sir i want to see all the sessions that are running in my sql server okay what is the query guys sp underscore who to in this query you can see all the sessions that are running in your sql server guys total how many sessions are running can anyone tell me 58 sir 58 sir. you can see the 58 number rows. here right 58 rows means 58 sessions are running session or process both are same almost same but later you will came to know the difference but session or process you can call it the same thing okay so you can see here there are 58 okay sessions are there you can see you can you can see there are 58 sessions are there in this 58 1 to 40 1 to 50 1 to 50 guys 1 to 50 okay 1 to 50 are background processes background processes to make sure your sql server is up and running some background processes will run guys 1 to 50 spid you can see here spid column and guys very important table this is you can see the status if madhavi is executing the queries keep on executing the queries you can see okay whether it is executing or sleeping or executed or running are runnable like that different different states will be there or background you can see guys you can see background states and all see here background okay and you can see sleeping state right and you can see runnable state and you can see running state if anything is running currently who is running we can see here see here expand login name you can see madhavi is running this session madhavi 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 okay so uh, uh, what is the server name host name double click on it you can see the host name from which server she is running from this server she is running blk means blocking guys any blockings are there i'll show you i'll i will discuss there is a separate class on blocking so we'll discuss okay what is blocking and all we'll discuss on what database she is running she is running on master database 
what command she is running okay you can see here command 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 okay if she is running a create command you can see create if if it is a delete command in this stored processor you cannot see the complete command guys if it is a create statement create delete statement delete stored processor select into if it is a select statement you can see select here that's it at least you will get a basic idea whether madhavi is running a select query or delete query or create query whatever it is running whatever she is running you can see a basic queries guys these are all processes okay guys any questions any doubts i can see all the processes sir where i can find these queries for practice you can find it in the google rama you can find it in the google or else let me show you one thing okay we'll have templates okay we'll get one template okay okay, okay, okay. let me view solution explorer chip explorer template explorer let me let me open this template yes okay just go to view template explorer if you go okay so for example i want to see commands related to the database open template explorer and you can see database what is the command to create to attach the database what is the command to bring the database online what is the command to create the database what is the command to create the snapshot okay what is the command to drop the database you can double click on it it will be opened in the window okay so this is the actual command to drop the database actually we are going to use only these three words drop database database name remaining all the things will be provided by your sql server default parameters okay so like this if you want to know the queries you can get it from template uh, template explorer Uh, you can enable you can open template explorer from view okay template explorer and the uh, keyboard shortcut is control alt t okay like that you can see backup queries you want these are the backup queries backup a database double click on it you can see the backup database query okay but uh, it's not a complete query this just a example kind of thing so again you have to replace all the things okay backup database database name you have to replace the database name here a lot of things you have to replace so otherwise you can google it command to take the backup command to create the database everything you can google it you will get it easily okay right guys is it clear how to see the processes and thank all? you sir yeah no problem is it clear guys what is a process what is a query i mean a query means a session what is a session what is a process is it clear how to see all the processes how to see the status how to see who is running the session how to see spid is it clear everyone yes sir yes sir clear yes, guys sir. any any doubt yes. please, please let me know okay sir Fine. how can how can you add a member sir once you given to any roles to other users how can add the uh, how can add members from add them? member to the same like how madhavi is adding member tell me how madhavi is adding member madhavi add member to bulk admin madhavi added divya to a db creator madhavi added divya to a disk admin madhavi added now she is going to add madhavi to the process admin how she is adding now tell me can you tell me how she is adding guys how madhavi is giving yes we are adding... providing the role sir bulk role uh, right bulk admin role yes simply Uh, to which person i want to give access i'll double click on the person or login go to server roles. server roles will select that particular yes, role yes. in that way we can add but uh, divya so you have a question right sir i want to you said divya is a db creator now yes. divya can add another person to a db creator role yes. what divya can do yes, go to security go to login go to logins but uh, divya cannot see other logins right now in this case how can she add another login into this particular role db create role divya can in divya can in divya can in divya can she can add a add button by using where is that add button i mean double click divya sir one second right double right. click divya again don't misunderstand the concept see i want to give madhavi right 
Madhvi, already you are there, okay. So, for example, who is the Ramapriya? Example, Ramapriya. I, Divya want to give access to Ramapriya. Now, on which login I have to double click? Divya login or Ramapriya login? Divya login. Divya login. Divya is already a DB creator. Divya wants to add Ramapriya into the DB creator role. Click on the Divya only. Sir. Divya only. No. Yes. See, Madhvi is giving permissions. Madhvi is, I am clicking on Madhvi or Divya. Madhvi is giving permissions to Divya every time while adding. Am I clicking on Madhvi's name or Divya's name? Madhvi's name. Madhvi's name. Very good. Madhvi's name? Divya name. Divya name. That's what you observed since one hour? Sir, here creating. Madhvi is also having to... permission, right? Why I give on Madhvi's name? No, sir. Double click on Divya. To which login you want to give access, you have to click on that particular login. What is the use if you are clicking on Madhvi? Madhvi is a sysadmin. Madhvi is already having permissions. Don't confuse here, please. Please don't confuse. Again, I can tell you, Madhvi wants to give access to Divya. Okay? So what Madhvi can do? Madhvi can double click. Who is seeking for permissions? Means as per you, you are, you are saying anyone is asking permissions, you have to double click on Madhvi. No, sir. No, sir. If anyone, if your, company CEO, if your company CEO is also, also asking permissions, you are going to double click on Madhavi, right? That's we need to big. double click on a CEO's name. Who is asking permissions? You have to double click on that person, right? If you if you double click on Madhavi, what Madhavi will get? Let me show you Madhavi. Where is she? Where is her login? Yes, this is the login, Madhavi. Okay, double click on it, server role. Madhavi is a sysadmin. If you give uh, DB creator to Madhvi, Madhvi will become DB creator. Why Divya will become DB creator? If, if I want to add Madhvi into the process admin, I'll select the Madhvi process admin. What is the relation between Madhvi and Divya in this case? How Divya can become a process admin if Madhvi can get a, her own roles, her own permissions? Guys, is it clear? To which login I want to give permissions, you have to click on that login, not your login. Anyone is confused? Divya login, Ramapriya is not there. How can Ramapriya is not there. How to, tell me how to deal this situation. Ramapriya is not there. Hello, Ramapriya, you are not there. Chalo. Dabang, dabang. You cannot say like that, right? So you have to give the permissions. You have to give the permissions. Means what? What you have to do? We need, what we, need, we, we need to create a login. Create so. login. Correct. Create Ramapriya login. Then give the permission. That's what we have to do in the in the organization, right? We have to create Ramapriya. Okay. Now, now in the in my case, let me create Ramapriya new login. It's a SQL login. Imagine SQL or Windows login. I have to create a Ramapriya in the Windows level. So I will go with the SQL login. Okay. One, two, three. Tab one, two, three. Now let me uncheck this password. Let me click OK. Now Ramapriya asking the permissions. Hey, can you please give me the permissions? Okay. On this particular, uh, I want to get a DB creator role. Or uh, my, this is my requirement. I want to create a databases. I want to drop the databases. I want to alter the databases. Can you give me the permissions? So as a DB, what you're going to do? Okay, Rama, I will, will give it to you. Please raise a request. Okay. Please raise a request and make sure you have proper approvals. Then I am going to give you. So Ramapriya contacted her manager. Manager approved Ramapriya's request. Now it's your turn to complete this activity. Now what you are going to do? If Ramapriya is not there in the logins list, create Ramapriya login. If she is there, double click on Ramapriya. You want to give DB creator role. Select DB creator role. Click OK. That's it. Now Ramapriya became DB creator. Is it clear? Still having any confusion? No confusion, sir. For our, no, our, no, our no, activity, people, no confusion. Yeah, so some people doesn't have confusion, but uh, I want the opinion of all the people, guys. Is it clear or not? Please let me know. Again, I'll happy to help you. Why? Because security is somewhat okay, complicated thing. 
but very easy thing if you understood the concept nothing nothing see if i want to give some money to you i have to add you in my bank account you are saying sir why you are adding me sir add yourself if i want to give money to you if i add myself can i give money to you can i send money sir, to sir. you sir small box sir yes yes please sir madhavi is a db na hmm hmm so madhavi is divyano plus uh, ram ramapriyano and add chesaru okay yes hmm ah ipudu divya ramapriya ipudu add ayina kada sir maaku sorry divya ramapriya add ayina kada avunu దివ్యా can enjoy the permissions whatever permissions are there those eight permissions she can enjoy she can okay. also add another person to the same role okay okay sir. another okay. person means imagine will go with rama priya so okay. divya now divya can add rama priya into db creator role don't think divya okay. can add in other roles what role she okay. is a member to that role only she can add others how to okay. add i'll tell you now why because she cannot see other login sir how can she add rama priya right now divya wants to add rama priya into db creator role she cannot see rama priya right if i want to add any person i have to see those logins i cannot see those logins now how can divya add rama priya into the db creator role right so in that okay. case there is a query you have to go by query okay what is the query i'll tell you okay let me go to the logins Uh, let me generate query in front of you itself rama priya i want to give you access to rama priya right yes, rama priya is already db created so let's go with another permission okay uh, process admin okay process admin so now imagine process admin rama priya wants process admin permissions so divya is already a process admin imagine divya is already a process admin or let me why to confuse let me do one thing let me remove these permissions okay first let me remove and again i'll show you let me remove done right now rama priya is just login she don't have any permission she is not member of any role okay now divya wants to give access now divya wants to add rama priya into db creator role if 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 i clicked on this so, sorry sir less, yeah, less yeah. than on me please reconnect guys please reconnect using the same link 